he looks nothing like me. But when I speak to him, he'll answer me back. Atlanta, Georgia, to see Chantek, an orangutan and one of the cleverest apes in the world. Perhaps the main claim to human uniqueness is that we alone can create a vast and complex culture based upon language. Not only do we know the meanings of words, but we can combine them in novel combinations so as to communicate complex ideas. Sheba seems to have understood some words. But does this show that apes other than humans are capable of language too? I'm off to the zoo in Atlanta to meet an ape who might tell me. Oh my darling, oh my darling, oh my darling Chantek dear. Mommy loves you, Daddy loves you, Lenny loves you, Chantek dear. On a freezing cold morning, I'm invited round the back of the ape enclosure at the zoo to meet a vast male orangutan with a nine-foot arm span. Loves you, Saibu loves you, Chantek dear. Since the age of nine months, Chantek has been taught to use and understand sign language by anthropologist Dr. Lynn Miles. Who's this? Hello, Who's Chantek. This? Do you have a sign name? Yes, I do. It's um, Red Hair. Oh, Chantek, that's Red Hair. Red Hair, look. <laughs> he doesn't want to look at red hair. <laughs> oh, kind of funky red hair. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Chantek, Chantek, would you please throw me the bottle and I'll give you... Ah. Uh, well... <laughs> Nelly throw? Chantek, yeah. Chantek, guess, guess where it went. It went down in the moat. Do you want banana? You think about it. You think which you want to do. Part of, I guess, working with him over these 20 years is always respecting him and what he wants. And he doesn't have to come and play, does no, he? No, no, it's up to him. You want banana? Do you want me to look? Banana, all right. Just a minute. Chantek was born in captivity at a primate research center in Atlanta. Lynn was a researcher working on an animal intelligence project at the University of Tennessee. In 1978, Lynn became Chantek's foster parent. In her research, Lynn sought to explore the language abilities of orangutans. If an ape could speak, would it reveal a mind? And what sort of mind would it be? The problem was that, like all great apes, Chantek's vocal tract simply couldn't make human speech sounds. Lynn had to teach Chantek to use American Sign Language. Twenty-three years on, Lynn and Chantek can communicate in impressive ways. Soon after my arrival, they play a popular children's game. We're going to play Simon Says, OK? You ready? Simon Says, touch your chest. Good. Simon Says, stomp your foot. Good. Simon Says, clap your hands. Chantek, Simon Says, touch your head. Simon Says, touch onto your arms. Simon Says. Finished, good, very good. Chantek shows all of the basic skills needed to play the game. He can take turns, 
understand the structure of the game, and it looks as though he can translate the actions of others into actions of his own. But imitation is very difficult for most animals. Would he imitate me, a stranger? Simon says... Good! <laughs> very good! Simon says... Uh-uh, you lost! Yeah! Yes. Oh, well done, <laughs> Ch Thank you, Chantek. Good, good. One more. Sue. Simon says... <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Very good, Chantek. Thank you, Chantek. To do something like that and to see him, you know, I just thought I'll do that and to see him do it straight back like that was, well, it was quite something. I was quite, um... <sighs> do you want hot chocolate or the water? Humans understand words before they can talk. They comprehend single words after 12 months and simple sentences at the age of two. I'm curious to know how Chantek matches up. To what extent does he truly comprehend conversation? Okay, I have to put it in the bottle there, in the cup. Do you have the cap? Could you put, could you put the cap on? It is absolutely extraordinary to meet to see you having such an intelligent conversation and he's going and getting it. He doesn't use his hands but his mouth to complete the delicate task. Has he understood that you can only throw him the hot chocolate with a cap on? That's right. He must have, must have. Good. Very good. Brilliant. You deserve the hot chocolate, Chantek. What an encounter. I'm full of questions about the nature of this ape-human communication. It's obvious in your relationship with Chantek that he's a real person to you. What kind of a person is he? Well, I like to think of Chantek as the first orangutan person. He is obviously an adult now, and so he has a great sense of himself. And I got that very clearly. Human children aren't taught language. They just absorb it from the conversations around them. From a very young age, Chantek had to be coached. I began to associate his food and his baby bottle with the signs for food and drink. I would also mold his hands. I would take his hands and make them in that shape and then bring them to his lips. Today, Chantek knows over 150 signs. Signs for objects, actions, colors, drinks, and food. A brush of his finger means banana. A touch of the mouth, apple. Has he made up words? Chantek has made up several. He's made up a word um, for balloon. He goes like this. And he's made up a sign for Viewmaster, that little device where you see yeah, slides. slides yeah. And he's made up a sign called Dave Missing Finger for a favorite worker who had an injury. And Chantek was always fascinated with his hands. You can ask Chantek some questions. You can say to him, what do you want? OK, let's try that. What? What? Your index finger. Oh, sorry. What do you want? Very good. Or what? Do you want? Is the facial expression important? By, by George, he's got it. <laughs> Atlanta, day two. What distinguishes true language from mere association is using different word orders to mean different things. From the age of two, humans put words together to make new meanings. Today, I hope to find out whether Chantek can do the same by signing to him myself. Hi, nice to meet you. Love you. Chantek, Sue asked, can she give you banana? Yes, it's right here. There's apple and banana for you. Which 
Apple. Here you are. Here comes Apple. <laughs> Perfect cat. OK, in the, in the next... I take care to put together several signs to make a sentence. Will Chantek give a full reply? Which... Which... Do... You... Want... OK. Which... You... Want... He's saying... Chantek... Chantek... Apple and banana. Throw apple, banana. Which do you want? Uh, which, which? 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 Apple. Apple. Oh, no. Apple. He's saying apple and, and banana. banana. I know. You're not having both, Chantek. What's this? Apple. <laughs> There's no doubt that Chantek knows the signs for different foods but I've seen no evidence of him making up sentences or using words for anything other than naming things. Chantek, Sue is giving you food now. You want banana? You want banana? Does he ever say thank you? On rare occasions. <laughs> but, right. What, what, Chantek? He, he just, I think he just signed. He just signed a part of Sue. He signed um, um, red hair. Yes. Red hair give you banana. Uh, red hair give you banana? He wants both, he's telling you. You can only have one. By asking for me, Chantek may have been initiating a dialogue, something children do at about the age of three or four. I'm not going to force him to talk anymore. I'd rather give him something concrete to do. Lynn says that he enjoys doing puzzles. You can do the puzzle, all right? Look right here. It's got an apple. Good shot. For the first time, Chantek's female companions, Saibu and Biji, take an interest in what he's doing. Oh, he's, he's doing it. Chantek completes a piece of the puzzle. He's done one. Ah, oh, good. He's put one in. Good, you did one. I think Very did. good. Biji's got some pieces. See, he did one. Can we see? Can we look? Will you show me the puzzle? Please. Can I see? That's right. OK, now turn it around. Turn the puzzle around. That's right. Good boy. Thank you. Yes. <gasps> Good. Good. <laughs> Yes, you did a good job, good work. Okay, now put the puzzle in the blanket. Tie it, please. Chantek needs to get the puzzle back to Lynn and me on the other side of the moat. Good. Now put the puzzle in the blanket. Put it, put it on the blanket. His solution to a tricky problem gives a surprising insight yeah, into his understanding of language. Chantek Tzu says, put the puzzle in the blanket. Can you do that? Put it in the blanket. The puzzle in the blanket. Yes. Good boy. Good. Very good. Yes! Na oh, yes, you're going to get a big apple. <laughs> now, maybe throw... This the is extraordinary. Chantek wasn't just naming the objects puzzle and blanket, so but he could understand so different relationships between them, on oh, and in. Boy. You'd see the Thanks same degree of comprehension in a three-year-old human. Very good. I'm proud of you. I love you. 
I think he is an extremely intelligent animal.